Andy has a good time at the Neon Museum getting some rare film footage. And Matthew's son, Leo, is born. Claire first visited Vegas before Nikki, and she remembers her first trip in 2003 when she learned that a tiger attacked Roy of Siegfried and Roy. Like others, they had a fun time paying for their food at the Resorts World Food Court, and more fun trying to get a player's card. Yes, I called it a food court because that's what it is. Someone gets a big slot win, and Baby Girl tries to steam room at Mandalay Bay. Vegas' calling has a good tip for getting through the airport security quickly on certain days. This is the way in Las Vegas Nick lets his light shine, by getting spanked in a German restaurant. Hopefully, he wasn't sleepless in Las Vegas after that because that is a Vegas best idea. Jordan had a brother's weekend going to the first Raiders game with fans. Jordan is from Oregon, and it was slightly warmer in Vegas in mid-September. Nikki and Claire go to Gordon Ramsay's and Vanderpump's with the coin show before playing slots at several casinos. They are staying at Aria for four nights, and they give their input on the current state of Aria rooms. Andy and Simone got keynoted by Tamara and Gord when Vegas Best Ideas arrived in Vegas earlier than expected. Then Andy and Simone go to the Neon Boneyard and get some rare film footage of the vintage signs at night. Shh! Don't tell the Neon Museum. Sometimes it's the little things. Alice likes the brand changes at Cosmo with the shampoo and conditioner. Bingo! Callie had a grand night at Bingo on New Year's Eve at Red Rock. Nikki bumps into Richard Wilk while staying at Circa for the first time. Then later at night, they get a note from Derek Stevens in their room with a package of chocolates and champagne. Is the lemon drop better at Resorts World compared to Cosmo? Hogg finds out. Bridger enjoys a coin fountain show, but was it a Sam's Town fountain show or a Bellagio fountain show? Nick and Mark watch the Golden Knights play Montreal. Chris and Catherine keep track of their daily expenses for three days, and Catherine wears her new jacket. Kim wants a Circus Circus shirt, but can't find one. Kevin is back after three months, and now he is working the poker room at MGM Grand. Then Kevin becomes a bodyguard because the boss won the Grand on Dragon Link at Paris. This is what Cinnamon thinks of Caesars, or at least their room. Real Braun's favorite bathroom in the world is at the Donut Bar. Simon has some great nighttime photos of the Neon Museum. Ruby goes over the 10 best free things to do. Say hi to Leo. Last Monday night, Matthew went live with his new baby boy, who was born two days earlier on January 15th. Leo weighed in at 8 pounds and 13 ounces with a length of 21.6 inches. Dell continues his tour of dive bars and wants your help to decide which are the best dive bars. Did you know that Pat has a pretty good voice? Jacob talks about the happy hour deals on Fremont Street. Ted interviews Jay Cation. After being in town three years, Christina says that Vegas doesn't feel the same. It's not as safe, and she is changing how she spends her time on the Strip. Andre talks about the best day club pool parties. Mark tries coffee on pizza, really expensive coffee, at Good Pie in the Arts District. The new sparkly pop flavor is here in time for Valentine's Day. Red hot cinnamon flavor. Chris goes over his daily spending for a three-night stay. Derek and Catherine talk about new food coming to the Strip. Alan interviews some showgirls about tipping. Steven says that Caesars won't stop ticket scalpers. Norma tells you the local spots that Vegas fans must try 
with George from Vegas Must Try. Sean talks about a traffic jam at the Vegas Loop during CES. The trooper is going back to really old vlogs that are private and doing a re-edit before posting them. Jeff and Christina with the latest Vegas news of the week. Jeff talks about what is wrong with the Strip. For the next six weeks, JR will be going over Vegas basics in his Vegas 101 series. Tuition is free. Callie goes to her number one cheap eat spot on the Strip. Jason talks about free things to do in Vegas, including sleeping on the Strip medium. Dale and Paula do a tour of Chinatown just in time for the Chinese New Year. Nick tries a margarita at all nine casinos on Fremont on the same night. Thomas with the Bellagio fountains from all different angles, and he includes a song list in the description box. Michelle and Ted go on a gondola ride for the first time. Explore Vegas reviews the top five buffets. On March 1, 1961, the FBI said that Lansky is one of the prominent hoodlums selected as a prime target for early federal prosecution. Bureau has directed that every resource be used towards this objective. Coming this Thursday at 7, United States of America versus Meyer Lansky, Flamingo Las Vegas $36 million skimming case. By 1963, Meyer has more ownership in the casinos in Las Vegas than everyone else put together. According to one of Lansky's former associates, the skimming worked like this. Do you like magic? Mm-hmm. Siegfried and Roy? That is not possible. What do you like about them? Their tricks or their showmanship or... And their hair. <laughs> I love their hair. It's time for you. For you. It's time for you to spread your wings and do the thing. What are you singing? It's... See you in the base. I love you there. Come to see Las Vegas. Our town. It's, it's time, time for you. you. Yeah. Ah. He did it again. Drives me crazy. Give me a break. There are 140 active Vegas vloggers on this list. Vegas education has been added to the list with about 800 subs. Vegas Nola Man has also been added to the list, and Born to Vegas, which started last month, was also added to the list. Here are the events this year. And there is a 0% chance of rain this week. And here are the monthly averages for Vegas.